Alright, so today I was planning to do this cool like riding vlog and like all this cute stuff with my horse Ethan with Jasmine and I've come up to take him out of the paddock and the first thing I notice is his leg. Um, he's busted it up. It's caught it on a fence or something um, and it's, it's bad. So yeah, I'm a bit upset like, it's a bit devastating really because we had so many plans and you know, vet will see how it is. Yeah, right. Um, and um, we'll take it from there. So I just want to warn you that there are going to be a few graphic photos throughout this video. So if you're not prepared to see that sort of stuff, then you might want to click away. So when the vet came out, as soon as she looked at it, she was quite concerned, especially because of where the cut actually was. Um, but after examining it, she ruled out any puncturing of the joint or anything like that. And she gave it 20 stitches. She reckons there's no tendon damage, which is really good. So he was, after that, for about a week on penicillin and about three days on gentamicin. So um, he's finished those and he's now just getting bandage changes every three days. And here is just a little progression of from when he cut it to when it was stitched up. And then we've got the first bandage change. And then after that is the second bandage change. So where does that leave us now? He is confined to this stall for a month. A whole month. My dumb ass, when this first happened, thought this was going to be like a week sort of fixable thing. But no, he's going to be out for at least six months to a year. Which is devastating. We just started eventing season and it's not good. So he's been in a stall for two weeks now and um, he's not liking it very much. He hasn't been out of here in two weeks and he's grumpy. He's grumpy. And um, He's been walking on it, though he's on mute, he's he's doing a lot on it, which is promising, but also like kind of a bit. Don't do that because you might hurt yourself more. Done some bandage changes, it looks really good. And he's expected to make a full recovery. But since I can't ride him for six months to a year, what am I gonna do? And that's where Astrid comes in. So stay tuned for my new video with Astrid or Astrid Vertigo, my new three-year-old horse. And yeah, stay tuned for updates on Allegro and on Astrid.